Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time if you're new here. So happy to have you for class. My name is Kaylee and today we're going to do a strength and cardio vinyasa with a core focus. So we'll get our heart rate up, we'll strengthen the whole body through a vigorous vinyasa flow, but we'll especially focus on core strength, the foundation of all movement. For class, I'm going to use a block, but if you don't have one, that's totally okay. You could grab a small pillow to sub, but we're gonna start with it underneath our sacrum. And yeah, anything else that you need for class, a strap, water, grab the playlist from Spotify, it's in the description to play. And let's get started. So grab your block, lay all the way down. You can step your feet in about hips width to set this up. So head will be heavy, shoulders are relaxed. Lift the hips to place the block underneath your sacrum, just on the lowest setting. So take a moment to make sure it feels good. We're gonna release the lumbar spine a bit, release the hip flexors. Take the arms by the sides once you have your block there and then stretch both legs long, as long as it feels good. Walk the feet a little bit wider than the hips, digging the heels into the mat and then letting the toes be soft here. So you should start to feel right away a gentle release through the hip flexors, the front of the core, feeling it into the back. You can close the eyes and simply soften into this moment in time. So notice the quality, the cadence, the rhythm of your breath. Feeling your belly expand as the in-breath comes in. And feeling your belly release as you breathe out. Start to make your breath a little bit deeper. Maybe you sigh out of the mouth. Notice that as you concentrate on your breath, you are pulled into the present moment, the here and now, letting anything that is distracting you be outside of the mat space, outside of the room that you're in. Know that you can keep that intention for the next 45 minutes or so. Coming back to the breath whenever you need to recenter, to ground, Bring yourself back to the present moment. Let's take one more deep breath in here. Feel all the way up, feel the belly expand. Hold for a moment at the top, really puff up the belly. And then together, let it go. You could make a sound. Keep the eyes closed, just sweep the arms overhead on your your next in breath and then take your left hand onto your right wrist cross your right leg over your left and find a slight side bend over towards the left stretching your right side body feel that lengthen through your right side your obliques into your serratus maybe even into the lat and then come back through center interlace the fingers above you so palms will be facing the crown of the head Blink the eyes open gently and then pull your right knee into your chest, clasping your fingers at your right shin. Gently pulling the knee in towards the rib cage, starting to stretch through the hip. You could find a little rock here side to side. Feels so good already. Dig your left heel into the mat and feel this gently open the left side of the core, the hip flexor, the quad. Beautiful. And then from here, we're gonna just straighten the right leg up to the sky. You can reclasp behind the back of the calf now. Flex and point your right foot a few times, starting to work into the hamstring. Shoulders are still heavy, so you're not trying to reach as high as you can. Just simply letting the hands rest wherever feels most comfortable. Beautiful. And then we'll gently release the right foot down, cross the left leg over, find a figure four. Press the left knee towards the floor, 
And then from here, we're just gonna hang out for a moment. You could stay with the right foot down or you could pull the knees into the chest gently, starting to stretch through the left hip, reach the fingers forward, maybe you find that clasp. My legs feel very tight today. If yours do too, know that it's gonna change. We're definitely gonna work into the legs. The legs have some of the biggest muscles in the body, so they take a long time to open, being gentle with yourself. All right, let's release that. We're gonna stretch both legs long, one at a time. Reach the arms overhead, find that big stretch. This time, right hand, left wrist, and then cross your left leg over your right. Big side bend over towards the right side of the mat, stretching your left side body now. Think about breathing into the left side. Beautiful, and then come back through center with the upper body, interlace the fingers, and then again, drawing the left knee into the chest. Hold the left knee, the left shin. Keep grounding through the right heel to stretch front side of the right leg. Maybe find that little rock side to side. Beautiful, and then release the fingers just to straighten the left leg up and then hold anywhere along the back of the left leg. If this is too much to keep the right leg straight, you can always bend it in for stability. Keep a soft bend in the left knee, and then again, you're just hanging out here, letting the shoulders be soft, not working too hard, knowing that the hamstring will open. Keep breathing. Beautiful, and then we'll release left foot down, lift the right leg to cross it over, figure four, press the right knee forward. Option to stay here or pull the knees into the chest, interlacing your fingers at the left shin. Again, maybe finding that rock. Beautiful. All right, let's release this. Both feet down this time. Next inhale, start to lift the hips. You could work your hands down in front of the block to interlace your fingers, coming into your first bridge. So anytime we're in a back bend, we're opening the front side of the body or the core. So breathe into that space. Rolling your shoulders underneath you, digging your heels into the mat. Feels so good. Opening up the front body. And then when we release, let's move the block, come all the way down. And then we're gonna keep the block, pull the knees into the chest to a tabletop. Take the block to the right thigh and then glue your right elbow to the block. Take the left hand behind the head. We're gonna keep the right elbow at the block and then we'll lift up. So shoulders and head lifts. You're pressing your head into your left hand. Inhale to straighten the left leg long to a hover. Exhale to pull it back into the chest. So I'm a warm up for the core. Inhale to lower. Exhale to pull it in. So we're holding the block there with the right elbow. Deep stability in the core here. So transverse core is working. In, out. Beautiful. We got four, three, two, one. Switching sides. Block to the left. Left elbow comes onto the block. Right hand comes to the back of the head. Keep it lifted. Right leg goes out on your breath in. Pulls back in on your breath out. Beautiful. Keep your shoulders lifted. Press your head into your right hand. Already shaking, that's a good sign. Reach out, pull in. Last four. Three, two, last one, pull it in. Now take the block between the thighs, hands come behind the head, keep the shoulders up, find a little pulse, you're squeezing the block. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then release the fingers, we're gonna rock up to a boat. So keep the legs bent, keep the block in between the thighs, when you're ready, rock all the way up to your boat. Keep squeezing your block. 
Think about lifting from your chest. Take a big breath in. Stay for the breath out. Inhale to reach the arms all the way up to the sky. Sit up tall. Exhale, hands to your heart and twist over to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist to the left. So you're still just holding that block there. Twisting side to side. Think about twisting from your shoulders. So that means your obliques are working. Your transverse obliques. Twist. Twist. Last four. Three. Two and one. Drop it all the way down. Move that block. Place the hands behind you. Next inhale, reverse table. Release the hip flexors. Release the core. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let it go. Beautiful. Inhale to release. Exhale. Plant the hands. Step back. High plank. Feet about hips width, soft bend in the elbows. Let's shift forward and back a few times. So warming up the wrists, you can always do this from the knees. Maybe making some circles. Maybe switching them out, directions. And then we'll meet in our plank, take a big breath in. Exhale, downward facing dogs and the hips back. Bend into one knee and then the other. First down dog of practice, deep breath in, deep breath out. One more inhale and exhale. Make your way to a still place near down dog. We'll take a couple spinal rolls. On your next in breath, start with the heels, lift them from the mat and then ripple the spine forward one vertebra at a time, head and neck last thing. And then your exhale, lead with the tailbone, bend the knees as you push your hips back, straining the legs, downward facing dog. Two more like that. Inhale, roll it forward. Exhale, press it back. Warming up the spine, warming up the shoulders. This time, hold with bent knees, really push into the hands and the hips towards the heels. Take a breath in, breath out to release the knees. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat round. Couple more like that. Right into our cat cows. Inhale to lower the belly. Exhale to contract. Last one, breath in. Breath out. Inhale, neutral table. Exhale, downward facing dog. Next, inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, travel top of the mat, however you got there. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, sweep all the way up to stand. Push into the feet as you rise, reach tall. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, high plank. Chaturanga or lower to the belly. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful, one breath in, one breath out. Sun A number two, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, travel, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up to stand. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, core is still engaged. Exhale, step. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog, one breath in, one breath out, inhale to lift your heels, exhale top of the mat, inhale halfway lift, exhale fold, inhale sweep up, exhale fold with a flat spine, inhale halfway, Exhale, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Listen here, exhale, we're going back to chaturanga. Inhale, push up, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, back to chaturanga. Inhale, push up, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lift. Exhale, one more, chaturanga. Inhale, lift, high plank and hold. Lift the right leg. Exhale, pull the knee into the nose. 
Inhale to stretch it back, one-legged plank. Exhale, pull it in knee to nose. One more, inhale, stretch it back. Exhale, pull it in knee to nose, and then drop the right knee down. Lift it up on a breath, out. Inhale to lower. Exhale, pull in, lift, crunch. One more, inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower, now the right knee stays down. Lift the right arm and the left leg. Exhale, pull in, right elbow to the left knee. Inhale to reach long. Exhale to pull it in. Again, inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, bend the left knee. Take hold with the right hand. Kick, foot into hand, hand into foot. Finding that opening through the front body feels so good. Roll your right shoulder back. Soft bend in your left elbow. Next, inhale, release arm and leg long. On your exhale, right hand will plant. Right toe spin over to the right, left foot plants. Inhale, windmill all the way up. Gate pose, left hand to the left shin. Exhale to plant your right hand. Inhale, left arm overhead, modified side plank. Lifting all the way up. And then lowering down. So now we're stretching the side body, stretching the core, should feel good. On the lift to gate, you should also feel your obliques working to lift you. One more. Inhale to lower. Exhale, we're gonna lift the right knee into the chest towards the left elbow, and then lift it back up all the way to your gate pose. Left hand down, right arm by the ear. Lower it down, right hand plants. Lift the right knee to the left elbow, find a little crunch. Extend it, lift it back to gate. One more like that. Lift it all the way up. This time we're gonna cartwheel all the way down. Left toes stay tucked under. Inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Three-legged dog, exhale, bend your right knee. Stack your right hip on top of your left. Take a couple big circles in your right knee. Awesome job. That was a lot of strength. Switch directions. Now square the hips, keep the right leg up. Exhale, step your right foot forward in between your hands, left knee will land. Inhale, sweep up, low lunge. On the breath out, no hands, push the hips back, straighten the right leg, use your core for stability. Inhale, reach forward, low lunge. Exhale, push the hips back, half splits, reach the arms by the sides. If you need to put the hands down, you always can. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, half splits with no hands, holding here. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Maybe fold a little bit deeper. Good, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, hands through the heart and twist over to the right. Left elbow hooks on the right thigh. We'll keep it simple for this one. So left knee stays down, toes are tucked under. And then focus on rotating from your shoulders. So drawing your right shoulder back. Yes, like it's in line with your left. Keep pushing into the hands. They're there to help you. Deep breath in. Deep breath out, twist. Next, inhale, reach the arms up, low lunge. Exhale, plant the hands, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, back to chaturanga. Inhale, push up, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, press up. Exhale, chaturanga. Last one, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, push up, high plank, hold. Lift the left leg this time, pull the knee into the chest. Inhale to stretch it long. Exhale, knee in. Inhale, long. Exhale, knee in. Inhale, long, last one. Knee in, hold it. Tap the left knee down. Lift the left knee in. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift, squeeze, good. Inhale to lower, reach left arm, right leg long. Exhale, pull, left elbow, right knee underneath you. Inhale, reach it long. Exhale, pull it in. One more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach it long. Exhale, bend the right knee, take hold with the left hand. 
Kick, foot into hand, hand into foot, tiger pose, opening the front body. Soft bend in the bottom elbow. Breath in, breath out. Inhale to reach it long. Exhale to take your left hand down, spin your left toes to the left, right foot plants. Inhale, open to your modified side plank. Exhale, right hand to the right shin, left arm by the ear. Inhale to lower. And exhale to lift. Beautiful. All right, so now we're stretching the side bodies. Seriously feels so good. Keep your chest broad and really find that length and gait. And then when you're back in your modified side plank, you're reaching the right arm by the ear. Big stretch for the right side body. Beautiful. Last one like this. Then we'll add on. So we're going to hold low, left hand down, right arm by the ear, push into your right foot, and then curl your right elbow to your left knee underneath you. Inhale to extend, lift, lower, pull, left knee in. So finding a little crunch. So good. Keep going. Let's do one more. Reach it. Pull. Reach. And then from here, we're cartwheeling the hands down. Tuck your right toes under. Lift your left leg to the sky. Three-legged dog. Bend the knee, stack the hip. Same thing. Couple big circles. In the left knee joint, left hip joint. And then switching the direction of those circles when you are ready. Beautiful. Inhale, straighten the legs, square the hips off. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Right knee lands. Next, inhale, press the hips up. On your exhale, half splits. Try to use no hands. Curl the left toes back, lean forward, core is engaged. Inhale to reach. Exhale, push back. Couple more. Inhale to reach. Exhale to press back. Beautiful. Inhale to reach. Exhale to press back. Inhale to reach up, low lunge, stay. Exhale, hands to your heart and twist over to the left this time. The right, right knee stays down. Right toes stay tucked under as long as that feels good. And then push the hands together. Roll your left shoulder back this time. So hips are square to the front of the mat. You're squeezing the inner thighs together for stability. And then you're twisting from your shoulders. So the obliques are the muscles that do this twist for us in the core. And with the hands together, we have the help of the hands to rotate a little bit deeper. Beautiful. Next inhale, let's reach up. Exhale to plant the hands. Step back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, hold. Exhale, look to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, look to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, we meet downward facing dog. Beautiful, deep breath in. Long breath out. Two more cycles of breath here. Your first rest in down dog. Keep us off to bend in the elbows and then think like you're squeezing the hands in towards each other that will activate your arms. Keep drawing the tailbone up to the sky. Let the head be heavy, gaze between the feet. Let the shoulders be engaged but also relaxed. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Next, inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, step, float to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, chair pose, sit low. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Take a big breath in here. Think about lengthening through the spine. Breath out, twist over to the right. Left elbow hooks on the right thigh. Push the hands together. Sit low, so commit to the bend in the knees. Spread the toes and the weight into the heels, and then make sure your knees are in one line. That means your hips are square. 
Again, twisting from your shoulders. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Next, inhale, gaze towards your feet and then start to lift the left heel in towards the glute, keeping the twist. On your exhale, as slow and controlled as you can get it, stretch the left leg back, tuck the toes under, we're in a twisted crescent. Left knee is lifted, deep breath in, deep breath out, twist. Next, inhale, sweep all the way up, warrior two. Exhale to sink low. Inhale, reverse, reach it back. Exhale, skandasana, back of the mat, bend into the left knee. Use your core, hands at your heart, or they can come down if you need it. Take a big breath in. Breath out to turn towards the back of the mat. Spin the left toes to face the back of the mat. Right hand plants, inhale your left arm to the sky. Stay for the breath out. Next, inhale, sweep your left arm by your ear. On your exhale, we're stepping all the way back to wild thing from here. So spin the right heel down, lift the left leg slow and controlled behind the right, push the hips to the sky. Beautiful, deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, let's move through a side plank. Can you keep the left knee lifted? Exhale, step your left foot forward. Inhale, sweep all the way up, warrior two. Exhale to sink low, facing the back of the mat. Inhale, straighten the legs, straighten the arms. Exhale, parallel the feet, fold over the legs, prasarita. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale to fold over your legs. Beautiful, inhale, halfway lift, come onto your fingertips. Exhale, turn towards the top of the mat, spinning your right toes forward, bend the right knee. Plant the hands, take a breath in. Exhale, one-legged chaturanga, right leg goes back. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Next, inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, travel top of the mat. You can step or jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, chair pose, bend into the knees as you sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Take a big breath in here, lengthen. Breath out, twist you over to the left. Hands are at your heart center, deep bend in the knees. Draw your left shoulder back. Breathing in. Breathing out will twist you a little bit deeper. One more full cycle of breath here before you move on. Can you bend a little bit deeper into the knees? Beautiful. Next, inhale, start to look towards your feet and then lift your right heel in towards your glute, balancing just on the left leg. On your exhale, slow and controlled, use your core, step the right foot back, landing in your crescent twist. Keep it, uh, right knee is lifted, I was going to say keep a bend in the right knee, but straight in the right leg, so lift the hamstring to the sky. Keep pressing the hands together, take a big breath in, stay for the breath out. Inhale, we'll windmill you all the way up, warrior two. Exhale to sink low into the left leg. Inhale, reverse, reach your left arm back. Exhale, skandasana, bend into the right knee, you're at the back of the mat. Woo! <laughs> Use your core, engage it so that you don't fall over like I just did. Right heel could be lifted or it could be down, depends on your hips. Take a big breath in, always hands can be down as well. Let's turn on the breath out, face the right foot, turn the right toes to face the back of the mat, left hand plants, inhale your right arm to the sky, find your twist, stay for the breath out. Next, inhale, we're transitioning, wild thing, spin your left heel down, start to lift the knee up, and then gently drop the right foot back, reaching your right arm towards the back of the mat, press the hips to the sky, deep breath in, Deep breath out. Next, inhale, let's move through our side plank. Can you keep the right knee lifted? Exhale, step it back of the mat, use your core. Inhale, warrior two, spin all the way out. Exhale to sink low. Inhale, reach the arms up, straighten the right leg. Exhale, prasarita, parallel the right foot, fold over the legs. Inhale, let's find a halfway lift. 
On your exhale, let's crawl over towards the right ankle. Left hand will meet the outside of the right ankle. Keep a soft bend in the knees and then inhale your right arm up to the sky, twisting. Exhale here. Inhale, release. Walk over towards the front of the mat. Right hand to the left ankle. Inhale your left arm to the sky. Stay for the breath out. Gently release. Inhale for a halfway lift, lengthening out the spine. Exhale to turn towards the top of the mat, bending into the left knee. Inhale here, plant the hands. Exhale, one-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Next, inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, step or float, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend the knees, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a big breath in here. Exhale, twist. We're going through that one more time. Left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. Press the hands together. Next, inhale, start to gaze towards the feet. Pull the left knee, or pull the left heel, rather, up into the glute. And then from here, we're going to stand all the way up, pulling the knee into the chest. So release your twist. Keep the arms together. Pull the knee into the chest. On your exhale, keep the hands together, fly back, warrior three. If you need to take the arms by the sides, you can totally do that. Reaching the fingers forward if you can, engage your core. Back leg is active. Think about lifting the left hamstring to the sky. Breathe in. Breathe out, start to bend into the right knee. We're landing in crescent. Inhale to sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, warrior two. Ooh, inhale, reverse, I am wobbly today. Exhale, skandasana, back of the mat, bend into the left knee. Take a breath in here. Breath out, turn you, turns you towards the back of the mat. Right hand will plant, left arm to the sky. And then reach the left arm by the ear, same thing. Wild thing is where we're going. Can you slow down this movement a lot? Push the hips to the sky once you arrive. Reach your left fingers towards the back of the mat. Next, inhale, let's move through side plank. Left knee pulls up. Exhale, step it back of the mat. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale to sink low. Inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, this time side angle, left forearm to the thigh at the back of the room. Inhale, reach up, reverse. Exhale, side angle, left forearm to the thigh. One more like that. Use your core here. Inhale and exhale. Good. Inhale, straighten the arms up, straighten the left leg. Exhale, fold over the legs, prasarita. Not here for long. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, turn towards the top of the mat, bend into the right knee. Let's take a breath in here. Think about lengthening the spine. Breath out, pull your left knee behind your right Shiva squat. Inhale, extend it back, think standing splits. Exhale, pull left knee behind the right Shiva squat. Again, inhale, extend. Exhale, pull it in. One more, inhale, extend. Exhale, pull it in, hold. Maybe take your hands to your heart. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Next, inhale, warrior three from here, reach forward, lifting. Exhale, half moon, last push for this side, right hand down, left hand to the sky. Think about opening the chest towards the left side of the mat. Stack your left shoulder on top of your right. Soft bend in your bottom knee. Push into your right big toe. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Next, inhale, spin your left arm by your ear. Exhale to plant both hands, hop it back. Maybe you hover in a handstand, bend into the right knee, and then hop the right foot back. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful, deep breath in. Long breath out, let it go. You could make a sound. <sighs> Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, step or float, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, chair pose, bend into the knees, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. We have one more side like that. Inhale, exhale, twist over to the left. Hands are at your heart center, right elbow at the left thigh. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, gaze towards the toes and start to lift the right knee, or the right heel rather, up, balancing. Next, inhale, we'll lift all the way up. Keep the arms as is. Pull the right knee into the chest. Lots of core work. Exhale, fly. Warrior three. Palms stay together if you can keep it. Right leg is strong and active. Core is engaged. Think up dog in the chest slightly. Breathe in. Breath out, slow and controlled. Start to bend into the left knee to take the right toes back. Inhale to sweep up, crescent. Exhale, part the arms, warrior two. Beautiful, inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, skandasana, back of the mat, bend into the right knee. Think about lifting through the crown of the head. Breath out to turn towards your right leg at the back of the mat. Spin your toes to face the back of the mat. Left hand will plant, inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale here. Inhale, reach your right arm by your ear. Exhale, slow and controlled. As slow as you can, step back. Wild thing. Push the hips to the sky once you arrive. Right heel stays lifted. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, transition through your side plank, pulling the right knee up. And then exhale to step it forward. Back of the mat. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale to sink low. Inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, side angle. Again, inhale, reach back, reverse. Exhale, side angle. One more, inhale, reach back, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale this time, straighten the arms up, straighten the right leg. Exhale, parallel the feet. Prasarita. Inhale for your halfway lift. Exhale, turn towards the top of the mat. Inhale here, bend into the left knee. On your exhale, tap your right knee behind your left. Inhale, stretch it out, standing splits. Exhale, Shiva squat. Again, inhale, reach it long, extend. Exhale, pull it in. One more, inhale, reach it long. Exhale, pull in, hold. Take the hands to the heart. Really press the hands together, core is engaged. Next, inhale, warrior three, one more time, reach long. Exhale, left hand down, right arm to the sky, half moon. Flex the top leg, stack your right hip on top of your left, roll your right shoulder back. Opening, breathe in, breathe out. Next, inhale, right arm by the ear. Exhale to take your right hand down. Keep your right leg lifted, step or float, maybe handstand. We meet down dog, however you get there. Beautiful, deep breath in. Long breath out, let it go. Next, inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend the knees to a hover. Inhale, shoot forward, high plank. Exhale, push the hips back, bend the knees. Again, inhale, shoot forward, high plank. Exhale, push the hips back, bend the knees. One more, inhale, shoot forward. Exhale, push the hips back and hold. And then drop the knees to the mat. Next, inhale, sweep all the way up to stand on the knees. On your exhale, right hand to the right thigh, calf, or heel. We're going into a half camel. Inhale, sweep your right arm back up, spine to neutral. Exhale, left hand back, wherever it meets the leg. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, reach it back. All right, so now we're stretching the front body. Feels really good. Core is still engaged here. Squeezing the glutes to support the core as you lean back. Last one. Beautiful, inhale. Exhale, both arms reach back, lean back slightly. Inhale, reach all the way back up. Exhale, plant the hands, tuck the toes if they aren't already, downward facing dog. Walk the hands to the back of the mat so that you're in a forward fold. Feet about hips width, slight bend into the knees or a deep bend, and then fold over the legs. You can shake the head side to side. 
And take the first two fingers around the big toes. Find a halfway lift. Exhale, fold over the legs. Draw the shoulders down the back body. Think about reaching the crown of the head towards the floor. Think about lengthening through the backside of the legs. Feels really good. Breathe into that. One more breath here. Inhale, find your halfway lift, and then exhale, keep the fingers as is, heel toe your feet together. We're gonna come all the way down to sit into a boat. So think about lifting through the crown of the head here, and then start to bend the knees in towards the elbows. They go in between the arms, and then we're gonna sit all the way down, try to keep the clasp, and then straighten the legs all the way up. Think about reaching through the crown of the head. If you need to, you could drop the hands down to the thighs or the calves. Lift higher, use your core, breathe in, breathe out. One more in breath. On your out breath, as slow and controlled as you can, maybe you need to bend the knees, take the heels down, and then walk the feet forward, right into a forward fold. Inhale, that one's a lot of trust. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold over your legs. Maybe you reach the fingers to the outside edges of the feet now. Still working on that one. Inhale. And exhale, fold a little bit deeper. Think about breathing into the back body here. The shoulders be soft. Keep the feet flexed, the legs engaged, so that the back of the legs can stretch even deeper. Beautiful. On your next in-breath, come all the way up. Come all the way onto your back. On your out-breath, bring your block with you. Lay all the way down. Head will be heavy. Let's find a restorative bridge, so lift the hips. Take the block at any setting that feels comfortable in your body to your sacrum, your low back. Feels so good already. Close the eyes, let the arms rest by the sides, or you could take them underneath you to interlace the fingers, totally up to you. Again, letting the sacrum relax here. Feeling that pressure from the block on the sacrum start to release a little bit. So maybe the low back feels tight. If so, breathe into that. option to stay here or if you would like to invert the legs pull the knees one at a time in towards the chest to make sure this feels good still on your low back and then you can straighten the legs up to the sky let's flex and point our feet a few times just like we did at the beginning of class maybe roll out the ankles a little bit letting gravity do the work here to bring the blood from the feet down the legs back into the heart Eyes can be closed or open, whatever feels most comfortable for you. You start to feel that tingly sensation. It's okay, stay with it, keep breathing. So good to reverse the flow of gravity to do things that our body isn't used to doing. Beautiful. And then from here, when you're ready, start to bend the knees into the chest. Give yourself a moment with bent knees. And then one at a time, step the feet down. Inhale to lift the block, 
or lift the hips to move that block over to the side and lower the hips all the way down to the mat. From here, draw the knees into the chest, give yourself a squeeze, and then let's move right to happy baby. Take your knees wide, soles of the feet to the sky, hold the outside edges of the feet, and you can find a gentle rock side to side. Let the shoulders relax. Think about opening through the insides of the legs, the adductors, as well as the outsides, the hips, the glutes, maybe even into the IT band. And then gently releasing that when you are ready. Take the feet together and then drop the feet to the ground, Supta Baddha Konasana. Take your hands either to your belly, to your thighs, to your heart. What feels good in this moment, move intuitively. You can stay here or if you want full Shavasana, you can stretch the legs long. Totally up to you. Make yourself comfy for these last few moments of class. If you haven't already, close the eyes down and let yourself soften. Knowing that your deepest relaxation isn't going to be there right away. You need to give yourself time to get there. So can you just simply commit to putting in that time to being here, to being present for you to round out your practice in a way that nourishes both your body and your mind. If thoughts keep popping up, come back to the breath, come back to feeling, knowing that they will be there when you step off your mat. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. You can stay here for as long as feels good. Maybe just breathing deeper. Eventually starting to wiggle, hands and feet, arms and legs, reaching the arms overhead. And then roll to your right side, or whatever side feels best. Press yourself up to a seat. Sitting up nice and tall, close the eyes back down once you arrive for a final moment of inward reflection. Hands come to your heart center. As always, notice how you feel in this moment, what's going on in both the mind and body. As always, can you cultivate that feeling of gratitude? for anything in your life that comes up right away. And then include yourself in that feeling of gratitude. Let's take a final breath together. Exhale all the air out, take a big sigh. Next inhale, breathe in all the way. Think about growing taller. Hold at the top, sip in a little bit more. And a little bit more. And that last little bit. Holding. And then together let it go. <sighs> Inhale, hands to forehead. Namaste. Beautiful work. I hope you loved this class. I loved that, that was a good one. So please let me know if you did in the comments, as always. Like this video if you had fun. Subscribe to my channel because it really helps to support me. 
And as always, any suggestions are welcome for types of classes. I would love to know what your dream classes are. If you wanna join us over on Afterglow Studio, the invitation is always open as well. We have about 140 classes to choose from, only $20 a month to access all of them, free challenges, free live classes, and a beautiful community. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye.